Yeah, 2022 was a great year for horror. Seems like every eight to 10 years, horror goes through these cycles, right? Where we'll have like a big boom, then it'll cool down, then we'll hit again. And that kind of goes back to like, the, like the early days, like the 1921. And hell, I mean, now we're in 2022. So, you know, horror definitely had, you know, it's ups and downs over, the, over time. And pretty much every decade it goes, it has like its highlights and everything. But this year in particular has been just fascinating with just the amount of horror we've gotten pretty much across the board. If you go back to uh, the beginning of the year, we had, you know, Scream, which was pretty well received amongst everybody and pretty much a good, you know, starting off point for that, for this year in horror. Then we had our hits and misses, right? Like we had the inevitable, I don't know what he, <laughs> what number remake it is of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And, uh, you know, I, there's parts of it I liked. Overall, the movie did not work, but it definitely had one really good kill sequence, right? Where he broke the guy's arm and stabbed him, stabbed him in the neck with it. That was actually pretty clever. I actually was a little jealous of that scene, which I thought of it. But overall, you know, that was eh. And pretty much this whole year, it's just been, you know, so much good hard. And the thing about this year, and again, it kind of started 2020 up. You can kind of put it all together, 2020 to 22. It's been, you know, pretty much nonstop. Just the variety of horror we've gotten is pretty much what makes this year so special compared to other years. You know, you've got your elevated horror, you've got your straight up horror, you got your experimental horror and everything in between. And it's all been well received among critics and fans alike. And again, that, that, that goes right back to just the variety of horror we've gotten and people just want new things, you know, uh, you know, the pandemic had us locked up for a long time. So we were able to really, I didn't catch up on stuff and to see what was out there, you know, and that, and people were catching up with a lot of films that got missed, you know, pre COVID and that got them wanting to see more. So now the filmmakers say, okay, we see what people like. So let's go ahead and double down on just doing more, take more chances, do more experimental horror and put more fun stuff out. And then that goes to just the platforms, you know, if you go like just the, the uh, you know, theater route, a lot of good stuff. Again, you know, he had Scream come out, um, Smile, which again, that's the whole viral horror type thing, like the ring and all those types. And that was awesome, you know, and that did very well for the box office, critically and with people. Uh, Black Phone by Barbarian, which I'm, it blew my mind. They actually took you know, a studio, made a movie like that now, you know, that, that was pretty, you know, ambitious on their part and it paid off. And then, you know, you got Jordan Peele with Nope and, you know, he's really, his career, how it's, it's, you know, it's, it's evolving and that was a really cool movie. You wouldn't have saw a movie like that five years ago, ten, hell, 10 years, 20 years ago. So it's cool to see, you know, these things happening now. Yeah, the streaming services, you know, Hulu's been kicking butt with, you know, the movies they've been putting out, especially like Fresh and another remake, which was actually pretty good, Hellraiser, you know, and that, again, that was the one that did very well. People seem to like it and critics seem to like it. So like, cool, you know, you can take beloved, you know, horror films from back in the day and do updates of them and make them work. Um, heck, even Disney Plus, one of the best Marvel Phase 4 things, and I'm, I wasn't a fan of Phase 4, but that's another topic, was um, Werewolf by Night. I was surprised that got made, and that was really good, you know, especially for a Disney Plus, you know, pretty much family show and everything, and that, I consider that horror. You know, it definitely has some horrific elements in it. And then we got to give us, like, you know, Shudder. Shudder's just been kicking butt all year you know releasing things like the sadness which that was definitely one of the highlights of the year as far as just being a straight up horror film you know then they had the more you know experimental stuff like uh the wounded fawn and seed which is pretty much like a body horror john waters type ambling entertainment film which i liked it and then you had um, glorious which is again another cosmic horror type thing you know pretty much one location netflix stranger things season four which that changed the game for that show you know and that's still considered horror you know we had a whole fucking phenomenon about that you know i'm excited about where that's gonna go and wednesday you know i mean just, again two shows on netflix which are still horror themed that's enough and those did well for that platform you got Screenbox, who you know released you know, Terrifier 2, which we talked about in the last video, and how that just did so well, not only theatrically, but on the streaming service as well. 
And Screenbox also has a lot of cool stuff. And again, like I, if you're a horror fan, if you had to choose between Shutter and, and uh, Screenbox, I say get both. Five bucks a piece. That's ten bucks a month. You pay that for this one streaming service and whatnot. And they they got a lot of cool stuff on there. Um, they just put out another what I thought was a cool experimental horror film this year called um jacked up and full of worms yeah i think that's what it was and that was that was pretty uh good now that's less you know you gotta be in the more avant-garde more extreme cinema for that definitely if you like frank helen lauder type stuff and all that i say check that one out but again like like i just told you all kinds of horror this year a lot of good stuff um and uh, you know we're, as we get to the closing of the year we have some uh, some, some uh little hidden hidden uh gems I, well, I believe Christmas, Bloody Christmas, I thought it was cool. It was Terminator meets Santa Claus. And that was fun. That's on Shudder. Um, then the most like, unexpected thing this entire year was fucking on uh, HBO Max. They, Adult Swim released <laughs> Yule Log, a.k.a. Fire, Fire Log. Um, and that was wow. You know, the guy who, who did uh, Too Many Cooks and a couple other little viral things on um, Adult Swim, if you're familiar with his work, this is kind of like, you know, this is what he would do as a film. He's actually a really good director, filmmaker. I'm, I'm really wanting to see what he, uh, does next. Cause he really surprised me with that one. Aside from just being batshit crazy, it was very well made and a lot of cool camera tricks and everything. So yeah, that was definitely one of the highlights. And I can sit here all day and talk about what I thought was like to stand out hard and whatnot. But pretty much everything I just kind of mentioned is what I stood out to me. And there's a lot this year. There's still some things I still have not seen. I'm probably, it's going to be halfway through 2023 and I got to catch up on things. But I've seen most of the stuff. You know, you guys, you know, who watch it, you pretty much have seen a lot of things too. And there's just a lot of cool stuff, you know, and I'm excited about next year because, you know, we've already kind of, I've been told what to expect next year. So hopefully we keep this, this trend going and, uh, you know, we can go, when we get, you know, 10, 20 years from now, we can look back at the 2020s and say that was definitely, you know, dare I say one of the best decades of horror since the eighties. I don't know how I missed this one, but yeah, Halloween ends. That was a big one in the theaters as well. I liked it. I know a lot of people had their issues with it, but yeah, I mean, again, another example of a, tried and true franchise that was able to keep up with all these new modern horror and generation but thanks for listening and as always if you like the content like and subscribe